Okie dokie. So I don't know how many people will join me over here. This is on my makeup channel. I'm going to do this on the makeup channel as well. Um, it's kind of been a rough couple of days to say the least. Um, I am at the shop. We have power over here. We don't have power at home. Uh, internet non-existent. Um, so we just had Hurricane Delta. If you're not familiar, we are in Southeast Texas in Nederland. We are right on the Louisiana border. We're closer to most places in Louisiana than we are in most places in Texas. Um, so that kind of gives you an idea of where we are. Um, small little town. Um, so we didn't get an evacuation order for Hurricane Delta, which we probably should have, but they have to give you at least 48 hours in advance and they didn't figure out till too late that the storm was going to be worse than what it was and this isn't something like oh woe is me um i mean i'm upset yes because there's been a lot um but i just wanted to kind of update y'all um because i don't know how until everything's kind of up and running again. And as you can see, my office is kind of in disarray um, because we had issues with, I guess there was a tornado that hit both our house and here, or it was the 90 mile per hour winds uh, because we have a metal roof on our house and lost a good chunk of it. It, the parts of it that stayed attached, it's really weird because have you ever tried to re-roll tin foil on the roll? That's what our roof looks like. So we're dealing with that. And then at the shop, we have three AC units and they look like they were just thrown down like dice. Um, part of the siding has gone on our building, our awnings messed up. We had leaks in between the two buildings so I have a lot of ruined furniture and stuff like that. Um, we're dealing, I mean, it is what it is. It's a lot, you know, but I was talking to a friend of mine, Lior, she lives in Israel and, you know, it made me think that, you know, yes, this is terrible, but what I'm dealing with isn't any worse than what anybody else is dealing with. And some people are, have it worse off than I do. Um, as I said, this isn't a poor pitiful me. I just kind of wanted everybody to have an update on what's going on, um, because it's going to be a crazy few days. Um, I mean, as y'all know, this is the second hurricane we've gotten hit by this year. The first one, we were without power and internet for like a week, but we didn't get damaged this one we got damage um and a lot of places around here did there's a lot of places that lost their roofs completely um we had finished hanging up a sign on thursday and the storm came through on friday two signs on a building and the tornado took and left the bolts behind but ripped both of the sign panels off and sucked the mannequins outside there i mean it was crazy it, i mean the amount of destruction from it. And I told my husband this, I was like, you know, I wasn't gonna leave for Laura, but he got worried. So we left, we didn't leave for this one. But if I have to go through another hurricane again, I will always leave as long as I can. If it's predicted anywhere close to me, I will leave because the sounds of the metal ripping off my roof. I cannot describe how scary those sounds were. And like talking to my mother-in-law, cause I was on the phone with her cause they live across the street from us and we were on the cell phone with them. You know, it's like I told her, they always worry about like, cause we've talked about moving to Florida and they want to move up towards Conroe and stuff like that. And we were talking about, it, it was like, you know, you worry about that type of thing, but we were across, we live across the street from you and there was nothing you could do to get to us. There's nothing you could have done to help and vice versa. So it doesn't matter where you are. If it's your time, I feel like it's your time. Um, 
I'm still trying to process everything. And part of the thing is, and again, it's not trying to be what was me. I have fibromyalgia. I don't hide that from anybody, but um, stress does not help it. And the amount of stress that we are under and have been under is crazy. Um, just crazy. Like, you know, two hurricanes in one year. We also had COVID this year. You know, last year we had Imelda and then we had the TPC plant explosion. The year before that, we didn't have anything, thank God. And then the year before that, we had um, Harvey, which was devastating. Um, so, I mean, in the last four years, we've had some pretty major incidents. You know, plus we've had relatives die and things like that. So, I mean, it hasn't been all cupcakes and roses, I guess is the best way to say it. Um, and again, I'm not getting on here to make anybody feel sorry for me. I, you know, as I said, I was upset about a lot of things. And, you know, I've taken a step back and tried to get a different perspective on things. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Right now we're waiting on insurance adjusters because that's a big thing with all of this. And because so many people had issues, you know, we don't know whenever things are going to but go back to normal. I mean, Cameron's out of school again for days. Um, you know, literally they just finished their first six weeks and we've, this is our second hurricane You know, there's no normalcy in the kids' lives. And I know that that is not unusual for a lot of places and a lot of people. It's just, you know, a lot of my neighbors and friends on the Gulf Coast who just went through Laura and Delta will tell you that this is not good and it's not fun. And you know, there are a lot of organizations, there's a lot of people who need help. Um, and not just here, like the wildfires in California are astronomical. Um, so if there's something close to your heart, I would definitely say look into seeing what is needed to donate. Because as I said, a lot of people have lost everything. Some have lost some, some have lost everything. And those are the people you need to worry about. I mean, yes, I, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that I'm happy or in a great mood because I'm not. I'm at my breaking point. Um, sorry, I had a text message come through because I have to do this on my phone because again, we have no internet. Um, but thankfully verizon we have free unlimited internet through the 15th so that way i can still get some things done i may not be able to get everything done but i can still get some things done um but yeah it's a lot and oh thank you sandra yeah i mean we're doing okay um, and that's what I was saying, you know, when you start to think about things and put things in perspective, it could be so much worse. But does that negate me being able to be upset? No, because I don't care who you are, going through stuff like this is a burden. You can be the most positive person in the world and it doesn't matter, it's hard. Thank you, Alinka. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's the best way for me to describe it is it's not easy. It's not fun. I mean, and this one was scary because it, it was really bad here and it wasn't supposed to be, um, it wasn't supposed to be, um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but yeah, hopefully in the next couple of days, um, 
we'll be back up to normal. Um, that's kind of the plan and hopefully that's how it goes. Um, I just didn't want people to worry because part of the thing is, and the trouble, the blessing and the curse with social media is people see parts. Like, I posted pretty much during the storm that we lost a roof, you know, and so people see a tad bit of what's going on and not the full picture. Um, and then it's also, you don't, well, I don't want people sitting there feeling sorry for me. You know, I'm a big girl. I can put my big girl panties on and deal with everything. Um, but again, like I said, things are not cupcakes and roses, but we're getting through things one day at a time. And I know that there are a lot of people who have it much worse off than what we do. So I don't, that's part of what I was saying is I don't want it to seem like that. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Um, hey, Nadia. Do something with that heat press. That sound is driving me insane. Sorry. But yeah, so I wanted people to know what was going on. So that way, you know, when you're not seeing a video from me, it's because, well, it's kind of crazy around here right now. And as I said, we're hopefully going to get everything situated and back up and running you know, within the next couple of days. I mean, that's all part of it is just trying to make sure things are somewhat back to normal. Um, and normalcy is good for the kids. Well, Cheryl, hopefully y'all did it decent throughout both storms. Um, I know Lake Charles was devastated by Laura, I haven't really seen the news <laughs> because there's been way too many other things to worry about these past few days to see what happened with Delta. But Delta, it, it wasn't, to me, it wasn't the hurricane itself. I think we got a lot of tornadoes from it. That's kind of what a lot of us are thinking. And that's the thing with a hurricane is it's not always the hurricane itself that's bad. It's the storms and the rain that comes with it. You know, um, a slow tornado most of the time is still stronger than a hurricane. And there's no predicting a tornado and where it's going to go and what it's going to do. Um, with hurricanes, you know, as I said before, we get a chance most of the time to know where they're going pretty spot on. Now, sometimes like with this, that part of the thing is when it hit land, it broke apart and a lot of the force changed directions and that can happen. Um, I mean, we had that happen with Humberto, which was what? I think Cameron was like a year old when Humberto hit. That was not a fun one either. Um, Henvier, we're okay. Um, we lost part of our roof at home. We have quite a bit of damage at the store. Um, we have electricity at the store, no internets, and we are no electricity at home, but we have generator. We have a generator. So, we're here, we're making it through. You're in Lafayette, so y'all do okay? You're not far from where I am. We're in Nederland, Texas, so you're, I think about an hour away. Um, but as I said, I think it was tornadoes that was more than anything else. Um, but like, again, like up and down Boston, which is where my business is. Like there are street signs that are perfectly fine. And then there are others that are bent and twisted. And it's like, that kind of shows you the nature of a storm. You don't know how or when it's going to hit, you know? So, I don't know. 
but that's kind of where we are on things. I wanted to update you. Hopefully, um, I'll be back to normal tomorrow. If we have internet, then things will be back to normal. And if not, it'll be a few days. Yeah, everybody's okay, Terry. At least everybody that I know personally. Like, I don't know anyone who got injured that it's just, it's mental. A lot of this is mental. That's the best way to describe it is, you know, it's mental. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. But I guess that's it. I will keep y'all updated. Um, if you don't follow me over on Instagram, that's a good place to find out information. Facebook as well. Um, I post somewhat over there. Um, kind of depends on what's going on. Um, but I guess that's it. Thank you, Hanbeer. So we shall see y'all hopefully tomorrow. Bye.